A series of double-blind studies conducted by CEO and author Janie L. Smith found that 90% of businesses don't actually understand what their customers value and what they want. This is often the case for writers as well. We assume that because we find something interesting or uninteresting, our audience will feel the same way. Now this can lead you into a trap. It's important that you constantly consider, what are the questions that my audience is asking? So a great example of this is to look at the juxtaposition of two different articles that were published on the same publication within two days of each other. The first one was entitled, Why You're Not Married. Now this piece was published on the Huffington Post and it went totally viral. It got 55,000 Facebook shares and 20,000 email shares. Meanwhile, two days before, there was a piece published about Hosni Mubarak stepping down as the president of Egypt. Now this piece, you know, arguably has an implication for tens of millions of people and should have been just as popular. But this got 13 times fewer Facebook shares and 235 fewer email shares than the piece on why you're not married. Now obviously this could have something to do with demographic differences and the difference in readership and just generally the types of things people are interested in. But it still begs the question, why was a piece on why you're not married just so darn popular? Here's the thing, this article managed to answer a fundamental question that everybody is asking themselves. The other one was relevant, but the piece on why you're not married, whether or not you agree with the response that she gave, still managed to answer a question that ignites people's passion and just personal investment. So how do we get started figuring out the questions that your audience is asking? One place you can start is looking on forums like Quora, Yahoo Answers, or Reddit. You can search for keywords or on the specific topic pages and subreddits that might be of interest to your audience. Take a look at some of these questions people are asking. Consider the fact that your audience is taking the time to go onto a forum and actually type out this question in hopes of crowdsourcing an answer from people because they're so desperate to find a solution. If you see a question more than once, take note of that. That probably means that a lot of people have this as a pain point and you should include that in your content in the future. Another way to start thinking about these questions is to just sit down and try to take the perspective of a member of your audience. Start listing out questions they might have. Just freeform it, put everything down. If you haven't put down a few absurd questions, you're probably not doing it right. Just let everything out onto the page and then you can sit down and look at it later and pick out the ones that you think would make the most compelling pieces of content. And one final tip on brainstorming. Studies actually show that when you're not at your most focused, you're actually better at creative brainstorming and free association. So for example, if you're having a hard time finishing that blog post or focusing on completing a task, you should take advantage of that time to brainstorm some questions that your audience might be asking. Again, understanding the questions that your audience is asking is critical for writing something compelling rather than just something that you're interested in writing about. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content from DocStock. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment.